Hey everybody, this is Jeremy Burrs at D5 Ranges Marengo, and today we're gonna to talk about Crate Tacticals OTF Knives. Today we're gonna to talk about Crate Tacticals OTF or Out the Front Knives. Crate Tactical is a company that I actually discovered at the USCCA's Concealed Carry Show up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A lot of times at these shows, you see a lot of knife manufacturers there. So you've got to kind of find the one that stands out to you. As I was walking past a bunch of the booths, I saw a steel target company. And on the other side of that, I saw their knives. And I had to, of course, take a stop because you can't walk past anything like that without actually checking it out. I was immediately impressed with their blades and started talking to the guys over at Crate Tactical about their stuff. Come to find out, Crate Tactical is a lot more than just knives. Crate Tactical actually does like steel AR500 um, targets with lifetime warranties, tactical vests, chest rigs, um, and a bunch of other stuff like IFAC and emergency first aid style kits. Another awesome thing about Crate Tactical is they're veteran owned and operated and they're stateside here in Georgia. You'll see a link in the description below for Crate Tactical. So let's talk about the actual knife itself. Now, I've had a lot of knives um, throughout the years and there are things I love about some knives and things I hate about others. One of the knives that I always really loved was a Microtech knife. Microtech is kind of the gold standard for out the front knives. And another one would be Benchmade, another phenomenal manufacturer of knives. And I've had both these knives myself. The only problem with them is, is cost for me, right? You're looking at knives that are anywhere from 400 on up to as high as 800 and sometimes exceeding that depending on how Gucci you wanna get with those knives. Now where I found the problem was is, well with a knife that expensive, I never wanted to actually use it for anything utility wise, right? So it always sat in my pocket. If I had to cut something, I tried to find something else to cut it with because well, I didn't really want to mess up my expensive knife, not that it actually should have. I found the Crate Tactical Knife, and I really liked their stuff. I liked blade profiles and the things that they were made out of, but what I really liked was their price. The first knife I picked up was only at like 135 bucks, which really isn't bad. In fact, their most expensive knives, if I'm not mistaken, sit below $200 and they come with a lifetime warranty, no questions asked. And I've actually had to use it once, which is where I experienced Crate Tactical's white glove service for their lifetime warranty. I had a little bit of an issue with a mechanism right out of the box. I called Crate Tactical and immediately got a response from them. I actually talked to somebody pretty important over there, and next thing I know it, I had my knife shipped out the exact same day, no questions asked. Now, what are their knives made out of? Well, let's talk about the blade for a second. Their blade is a D2 steel, really good steel to make knives out of. These things are razor sharp. They make their bodies out of aluminum, and then their scales are gonna be made out of either G10, carbon fiber like the one that I carry every day, or aluminum. Crate Tactical has three different blade profiles now currently available. They have the one that I use the most, which is like a Tonto style blade. Then they also have like a double edged stiletto kind of blade or dagger kind of profile to it. And then just a single edge blade to it. I really fell in love with the lower third serration Tonto blade, but that's me personally. One of the other things that I really loved was the mechanism. The mechanism itself is really smooth and easy. It comes out with a lot of force, but not enough force where it wants to like launch it out of your hands when you're doing it. It's got really good tactile and kind of an audible hit to it. And the profile of the switch or the button itself is really nice and your finger never really feels like it's gonna slip off. And I've used this both with wet hands and gloved hands and never had an issue with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into an unboxing of what you're gonna get when you buy your Crate Tactical Knife. First, of course, the box. Can't have an unboxing without one. First, you're gonna have your envelope. Inside this envelope, you are gonna have your warranty card and warranty information on here. And then you're gonna get your cool Crate Tactical sticker, right? Because everybody needs a sticker. Then as you dig a little bit further in, you're gonna have this really cool sheath that it comes with that does have some like Molly strapping and stuff like that on the back of it. As you open it up, then you've got your knife. Another thing to add on the knife is that it does have a cool ceramic glass breaker on it. And then you're also gonna kind of get that clip for it too. And then, a really neat feature that Crate does that not most manufacturers do is that they actually give you the tool necessary to maintain your knife. 
Now, out the front knives have an action with them, right? And just like anything that is movable or has an action to it, we're gonna wanna make sure that that action stays cleaned and maintained. Um, so they do include the little tool to actually take this thing apart. So you don't have to run out and try to buy a separated tool from the manufacturer or send this knife in just to simply clean and maintain your knife. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna beat this knife up a little bit. Now, I didn't really wanna go too crazy on beating this knife up because it's a knife and I wanted to keep it kind of more on the side of realism. So don't expect me to like shoot this thing or anything like that. We're just gonna beat it up a little bit. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these two by fours and we're gonna use wood kind of as our testing medium for this. Let's do it. So, I'm gonna say, minus all the wood that's stuck in here, um, God, we didn't even, we didn't even chip the tip. All the serrations and everything just seem super nice and tight and crisp in here. Um, God, I mean, it really doesn't look like we did anything, but what we did do is we did cause the mechanism here to fail on us. Um, so unfortunately, the mechanism is kind of out of order for right now, um, but most likely it's just gonna be as simple as um, taking it apart really quick, getting that blade back into function, hopefully. But I do kind of luck out and we get a lifetime warranty on this, right? General opinion on this, yeah, we did get the mechanism to kind of fail on here, but if you notice, even though the mechanism did fail, the blade itself never came back in and retracted and just kind of went loose on us. So even though we did get that mechanism to fail, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably wouldn't be doing this with my knife realistically, right? Um, but the blade always stayed out and always stayed locked and rigid for me. So even though that mechanism has failed, I still have the ability, I still have the ability to go ahead and uh, abuse this knife a little bit more. So did we get this knife to fail? Yeah, absolutely we did. But I talked to Crate and I told them, hey listen, I'm gonna make this knife fail. I'm gonna bludgeon the hell out of this thing. So um, be prepared. Um, and they said, go for it, right? Give it your best. Um, that being said, what we did to that knife is way beyond the scope of what I would ever think about doing with an out the front knife. Realistically, an out the front knife, to me at least, is something that I would keep in my pocket to use for self-defense, right? It's gonna be a quick deployment, use it for self-defense, and it's gonna have absolutely no problem with those tasks at hand. Now, is it a general survival knife where I'm gonna be cutting big branches and hacking and chipping and doing stuff with? Not at all, but there's an intended purpose for a knife like that, and this really isn't it. But I'm still gonna carry that exact same knife after the lifetime warranty trade-in, of course, um, as my everyday carry knife. So I still very much trust this knife. The edge retention was absolutely amazing. And even though we did get it to fail, it never failed unsafely, meaning the blade stayed locked out and I was still able to use it. In fact, even to this point, I can still use it with that blade out with no fear that that blade is gonna go back in again. We had a blast making this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to visit Crate Tactical online. Don't forget to hit that like, share, pull the trigger on that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're notified when we drop new videos. And don't forget to visit us online at d5rangesmarengo.com. I'm Jeremy Burrs at D5 Ranges Marengo. Have a good one.